Well, Vakash, uh, I don't know if it's important or not because this could just simply be political maneuvering. The letter is not an official document. It has been sent by the president to Chaudhary Assad's office and it contains some very important revelations, but mostly it contains uh, the government's stance on the appointment of Admiral Sachi Bukhari, uh, a former military person. Uh, as uh, the chairman of the NAB, uh, uh, National Accountability Bureau. Now, just to make things clear, historically the PMLN has only been arguing over the fact that uh, a retired chief justice of the Supreme Court or a retired judge can be uh, the chairman of the National Accountability Bureau, which is something that the government has uh, does not agree with. And uh, in this letter today to Chaudhary Nassar, the president actually makes his stance very clear. He says that uh, uh, in Section 6 of the 1999 NAB Ordinance, which was the law of the time, it says that, uh, 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 number one, a retired chief justice or judge of the Supreme Court can be appointed as the NAB chairman, but in number two, in this, uh, in section number two, it says that uh, a retired officer of the armed forces of Pakistan, equivalent to the rank of a lieutenant general, may also be appointed. And this is what uh, 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 th this is the stance of the government. They're basically saying the president is saying that because this meets the law, uh, the law. Uh, yeah, and speaking of the legal requir uh, requirements, as you uh, point out, Ali, uh, now the new NAB chairman uh, that has been um, appointed, uh, he, th there's little to dispute uh, uh, left uh, regarding that because this letter has been sent and the president has uh, also said that the uh, required consultation process with the opposition has been completed. So there's little controversy left now as to uh, the procedure that was adopted to appoint uh, uh, Fasi Bukhari as the NAP chief, isn't it? Well, Vakar, actually, controversy is not over yet. In fact, this could actually spark greater controversy because the second half of the letter actually speaks of uh, uh, the fact that uh, the consultation process is over and the PMLN and the, uh, the opposition will basically have to abide by the appointment of the NAP chairman. Now, the uh, PMLN has in the past also stated that it has wanted a list of nominees instead of uh, consultation done on a single nominee. However, in this case, in this letter, the president says categorically that uh, consultation process may only be conducted over a single nominee. And this is, uh, this is uh, something that the opposition will disagree with. So we'll have to see what uh, statements come out from the opposition. Right now, no reaction has come out. And it will be very important to see whether the opposition is willing to you know, pursue this matter any further or is willing to uh, let it go. Because right. uh, Very briefly, uh, very briefly, Ali, one final question. Uh, tell us, uh, what grounds has the opposition left now to object to the appointment of uh, Admiral Retired Fasi Bukhari as the NAP chairman, keeping all of this in mind? Well, actually, no grounds whatsoever. The PMLN is actually waiting for... Uh, th there is a bill in the parliament which relates to this law, and uh, the, the bill uh, contains uh, basically contains a uh, uh, con contains a condition where uh, the NAP chairman has to be a member of the a former member of the judiciary. But that is a bill, and that has not been complete, uh, turned into legislation. So, therefore, for guidance, the law ministry and the federal government is looking towards the 1999 law mm. of the NAB ordinance. Right. So, Ali, uh, uh,